All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can very easily create these five minute tent tags using nothing but Microsoft Word and a browser. Um, I did want to point out that I do have a number of other videos in a YouTube channel. So if you did find this useful, please like the video and or subscribe to my channel and like any and all of my other videos. I would be so appreciative. All right. So the first thing we're going to want to do, and actually um, it, what I'm showing you right now is just two tent tags. You can actually fit four tent tags per sheet of paper, which is what I'm going to show you how to do. The first thing you want to do is click on File, New, Plank Documents, and we want to go to Page Layout, Margins, we want to do Narrow. And this is basically just going to give us more real estate to work with. We then want to go through and insert a table. And as I said, we could actually fit four tent tags per sheet of paper. So we want to do eight cells on the table because each tent tag is going to be, this is the front of the tent tag and this is the back of the tent tag. So this is two tent tags and this is four tent tags. All right, next thing we want to do is actually select our table and we want to pull it down. And we don't want to pull it that far down. We actually want to leave a little bit of room off to the side, a little bit of room down below, because we're going to be adding borders and spacing. Okay, let's actually go ahead and do that now. What we want to do is right click to add spacing, click on table properties, and we want to click on options, and we want to do allow spacing between cells, and we want to do 0.03. We want to ensure automatically resize to fit contents is selected, and we want to do zero margins. Press OK. Now we have a clear delineation of where we can cut. So with our paper cutter, we're going to cut along this line and we're going to cut along this line. And that will give us um, our four tent tags. And again, we'll ensure that we don't actually cut into the tent tag area. Next thing we want to do is change the borders and shadings. Okay. First thing we want to do actually is go up to Google and pick our colors. I'm not really good with colors um, at all. So I'm actually going to go to Google and just write Thanksgiving colors. Click on images, and here's um, a block of, of colors that I actually used, and I, I like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and click on copy. You could also do a save as if you want. You then go up and open up Microsoft Paint, which comes as a default install. Um, and then from here, you can either click on paste or you can press Control V to paste those colors. Then we want to write our two colors. So to find these exact colors, we want to click on this little color selector here. And we want to first click on the brown. Okay. We want to click on edit colors and we want to write down the number 167-106-51. Okay. Then we want to click on our color picker, click on the yellow, and we know this is selected because we see color one. Click on edit colors and we see this is 241, 185, and 48. So those are the two colors we're going to be using for these tent tags. Obviously, if you're creating something for Valentine's Day or a picnic or whatever it is, you're going to want to pick different colors. Okay. So from here, we can right-click and we want to click on Table Properties and we want to click on Borders and Shading. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to unclick these page borders because we don't need those. Okay. Then what we want to do is select our color. And we have this brown. You can always click on more colors, click on custom, and type in 51. Um, the colors that, that uh, the numbers that you had written down. Again, 167, 106, and 51. Okay. Let's go do that more recent color. And then we want to make this one and a half border, and we want to apply it to the cell. And you want to actually click on the cells there. So now we can see where the borders are going to be applied. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. And as you can see, it added a little bit more so we can make this a little bit smaller to remove that second page. Okay, um, and for some reason, when I added that, and this will sometimes do that, the page borders came back. So let's go ahead and remove those page borders. Press OK, press OK. OK, now we have our page borders gone and we just have that cell. And again, we're going to want to cut along this line and cut along this line for our tent tags. Okay. So now we want to right click and we want to do our shading. We're going to once again click on table properties. We're going to once again click on borders and shading and we're going to click on shading. From here, we want to do a fill of white and we want to do a style of dark horizontal. And we want to click our color and let's click on more colors. Oh, 
so sorry, we want to do that same brown color that we have. And we want to apply that to the cell. Okay, and this is what it's going to look like. We want to do okay. We want to do okay. All right, now we have our tent tags coming along. The very last thing we want to do is we want to go through and we want to insert, click in here, we want to insert a text box. And we want to draw our text box. And then from here, we can go ahead and draw our text box. And we could type in grandma's stuffing, okay? And we want to highlight this, and we want to go to home. And I actually used Jenna Sue. If you do not know how to install and download new fonts, please watch my video on installing and downloading new fonts, okay? And we want to make this a 36. And we can go ahead and put that on the second line. And if um, the uh, it's it's the spacing in between there is too big, you can always click on line spacing options. Ensure this is set to zero and single, and that will bring that stuffing up a little bit. And then we can go and center this. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to click on format for that text box, and we want to click on edit shape. And when we edit the shape, we want to click on our plaque. Okay. Then we want to ensure format is still selected and we want to do a shape fill and we want to do more fill colors and we want to put in that yellow that we wrote down. So we want to type in 241 by 185 by 48 and now that is selected. Okay. And we can do a shape outline of either that brown or that same yellow. And then we can click on format and do a shape effect of beveled, and we can do the relaxed insert, okay? And then we can click on here and we can make this bold. Um, once we have this, we can very easily just right click, press Control C or right click and click on copy. And we can click in here and we can do a paste. And then from here, we can just change the, the um, text to say green bean casserole. And once again, we can click into this cell and do a control V or right click and do a paste. And we can change this to cranberry sauce with nuts and so on and so forth, okay? And that's how you can very easily create these five minute 10 tags using nothing but Microsoft Word and a browser. Um, if you found this useful, please like this on YouTube. Thanks so much and uh, I appreciate you watching.